everybody welcome back to the channel this is Joe with the model building corner I better not lose these these are for the airbrush um, I didn't do anything at all yesterday Sunday I basically laid on the couch all day um, so I didn't practice anymore with the airbrush but I think I realized what I was doing um, I mentioned it a little bit in the video but when I first started I was using this AK primer um, to me I didn't think that it needed to be um, thinned any so my first attempt it was straight and the gun was the um, airbrush wasn't spraying so it was that like I said I had to push the uh, the needle in far enough and tighten that uh, that screw and but before I figured that out I had watched the video real quick and they said that if your pr paints too thick turn up the pressure to 50 that's what I did so then when I finally got the brush spraying I never lowered the pressure down especially since I had already at that time cleaned out the bowl and put a uh, thinned primer in there so I was running way too high air pressure which you know a lot of you guys pointed out, so I appreciate that. Um, so I need to get some work done, all right? I finally got my decals for Daisy, so I got to get that uh, built. And I got to get this Mustang started for the uh, for Mike's uh, over at uh, Speed Sc Scale Speedworks. The Mustang 60 build. So I am going to put the front end on this thing so I can get it back into shape. <sighs> I just had meatballs in there repeating on me. <sighs> Not that you guys needed to know that. Alright, what I do with the nose? Oh, there it is. Alright. Put my glasses on. Um, let's see here. <coughs> Gotta clean them. Okay. Uh, let's get that sucker up on there. Let me clean that a little bit. Well, it looks like I might have a little something right here. A little something, something. For this, I'm going to use the, uh, not decal softener. Where are my other glues at? So much for being organized. Did I put them up here? Oh, yeah. Dude, have any of you guys seen Kelly Clarkston lately? Holy smoke. She lost a ton of weight and she actually looks young as can be now. She's not the type of person I don't watch her show, but I've seen her in a commercial. I don't know if this is going to dry too fast to do it like this. Just get that on there. So I'm gonna let this dry because I don't know if you guys remember. I gotta let this set up real good because you can see at the bottom. Let's see if the camera can catch it, but you see that little tiny piece? So I just gotta file on that on both sides. Just that little piece right there. Did I ever check how the hood fits? I would say no. I want to cut these hinges off. Oh, yeah. 
nose slid down a hair. Going right back into place. Well, it's got to be fine tuned, but. Okay, if anybody has not built that kit yet, don't panic like I just did, all right? Um, front ends on. When I was doing the hood, I was like, damn, that hood is too long. I started thinking, what am I gonna do? So I cut the hinges off, because I don't like the hinges anyway. So I cut the hinges off and I was about to start filing on the back here, which I did a little bit just to, just to clean up where the hinges were. And I'm like, that can't be right. So I said, well, let me do this. Let me put this insert in. So once you put the insert, this sucks trying to do this one handed. Once you put the insert in and then put the hood on, the insert actually has a piece of trim ring that lines the hood up perfectly. So, uh, focus. So, yeah. So, that's good to go. Moving on. All right. So, this should be on there good enough now. Landed right where I wanted it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just very lightly file that little corner off because I don't think yeah because that should be a smooth transition there shouldn't there shouldn't be a little lip there so I'll just knock that out real quick I'm just using a half round file just so I can Still a tiny point. Ooh, there's some flashing around that wheel well that I missed on the back. I didn't even see it. Alright, that looks good enough. Then why are you still doing it? You said that was good enough. Well, guys, I do this all day long in the truck. I, I talk to myself and... I actually answer myself. The worst is when we get into arguments. Uh, that doesn't happen too often. I pretty much get along with myself, okay? That one's nice and smooth. Yep, so is that one. All right, so where did that flashing go? It was on this side. I'm just gonna scrape it. All right. I have a special idea to paint this car because of course the 302 boss, the boss 302 and 69 only came with four or five color options and they all had a black interior but I'm not going to do it one of the five or four color options I can't remember which one it was five or four but I got something special in mind so I might not show you guys the painted car until the reveal. And I can do that because it's my channel, my build. So you can put something in the comments and complain, but you know, complaint department is closed. All right, so. What's that noise? My cat's trying to escape. He's trying to dig through the window. Actually, all of a sudden, this cat has got so clingy. Maybe because I was home for four days in a row when I was sick. Now he actually wants to be in my lap, which he would do for like a second and get down. 
but lately he's been cuddling up next to me when I sleep. And that's not like him. He normally sleeps at the foot of the bed. I think it's hilarious. Uh, if you guys ever watch uh, Joe's Rush Shop, it's funny. His name is Joe, and if you ever seen his cat, it looks just like mine. It's crazy. Although, how many different looking cats are there, really? All right, so that's done. Ooh, look at that. I got scratch marks still. Huh. Looking at it with new eyes. So, off camera, I'm going to do a light wet sanding and then clean the body so that it's ready for primer. And that's the story with that. Um, and I got to clean these parts so I can prime all of them. More parts, more parts, more parts. No, this isn't a more part. More parts. All right, so there's my Boss 302 update. Now let's do some work on Daisy. Whoops! Get on there, hood. All right, screw it. I got bodies falling from the sky. All right. You know what? Let me shut this off. Edit what I got. And then I'll get back on it. I probably should, should have done this in two separate videos. But I'll make this one fast. I'm just going to do a pre-assembly on the body. I've never built a Jeep before. So I probably should have looked this over and seen. I probably could have gotten some of this done before I painted it all. But we'll see. Like I said, first time, so first things first is put in the firewall number twenty-seven. And I hear you. I hear you guys. Especially Terry, I hear you. Cringing. Don't put that glue directly to the model. Put down a piece of tape. I wonder if that's supposed to be there. So, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'll put it all the way over here so that there's no way I can put my hand in that because that's why I never do it like that. I always end up, I always end up putting my hand in the glue. Let me move this box so that you can I can prove it to you. I'm not picking on Terry. He's not the only person <laughs> told me that they cringe. See, now where's the glue? There it is. He's not the only person that told me they cringe when they see me just putting that glue bottle directly on the model. And I'm usually, I usually got good control of it. I don't normally make a mess. Okay. All right, one part down. Uh, let's see, I don't know what any of that is. I'm not gonna worry about that and the pedals yet. I just wanna get these body parts on. This goes like that. Oh man, I already painted this and it's, well, it'll have to get a second coat after it's put together because almost had a mess. I've got pieces hanging over here. 
Boy, I must have been looking at both of these kits with bad eyes last week. So, yeah, we'll have to give it a quick shot of paint once uh, this body's set up and drying. So that goes in there, that goes in there. Definitely should have painted this as one unit. All right, where's my glue? Why did that make a noise? Somebody's gonna be wet sand in a car or a Jeep. Cause I wanna do a good job. See that has to go in like that. So let me do this. Trying to get some glue up in here instead of the back side, front side, I mean. I don't want to do that. I'm just holding for a few minutes. And while I'm holding this to dry, I'm just going to turn you guys off all right well this is where i'm going to end this video because i'm going to do some some uh, wet sanding on the body fix that area and i'm going to have to work with the hood um i got it to lay flat but i got a little bit of a of a weird gap there it looks like it's actually bowed in a little bit and it wouldn't even close i went ahead and cut the the loop for the hinge out otherwise it used to hook on there it used to hook so I went ahead and just cut the hinge out so that it'll just I really can't do this one-handed and I'll keep missing the, the all right I'll try to make this easier for you guys so like I said I should have I should have gone ahead and done as much of the assembly of the body as I could but not being used to a uh, the way these Jeeps go together, um, it's not turning out to be my best work. Uh, looks like I have a little bit, I had, I, I've got it a little better, but between the cowl and the firewall, in my mind, that should be flushed. There should be no gap there, but there's a, there's a gap. Um, and then as far as the hood, um, this was closed on both sides and what it did was it hooked underneath the hinge so that you can open the hood and all of that. But with that hinge there, the hood stayed like that. It wouldn't go down. So I cut the hinge, I cut the back side of the hinge, cleaned up the inside there. And as you can see... Um, we've got a little bit of a fitment issue here. It looks like I don't have this down properly. Um, the front looks like it should be, this side should be in a little bit more. Uh, you got a big gap right there and it looks like the, the hood actually is bowed, bowed in a little bit. So what I, and I'm not going to try to break this uh, and work it this way a little bit. I'm going to either first try to run it under hot water and hold it like this and with a little bit of tension on it and see if it'll cool and stay. I don't want to put fire to it or heat to it as far as over a flame, but I think I just need to do a little bit of this. So I'll work on that off camera and uh, I won't, I, I'm, I'll just go ahead and, well, 
you'll already be watching it, so I won't even say that. It looks like when it's a little bit opened, it's perfect. But when it's closed, it's got that gap. So, I'll work on it. I'll play with it. There's no rush for this one. Uh, I want to try to do as good a job as possible on it. Because A, I've never done one before. And B, since it was a gift, I want I, you know, I don't want to just rush through it and do a half-assed job. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, Daisy's going to get the royal treatment. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, if anybody wants a shop card, send, uh, send me a request, email. Um, I'd like to grow this wall. And, uh, yeah, so if anybody wants a shop card, let me know. And I'm gladly, you don't have to have a channel to trade. If you want, you know, if you watch my channel and you don't have a channel and you want a shop card, you let me know. I will get one to you. So anyway, appreciate everybody. Have a great evening. And uh, I look forward to getting more work done um, over these next few weeks. Uh, like I said, I mean, I've, I've been kind of down and out and not feeling well. And so... I shouldn't have done the work I did while I wasn't feeling well because I could have done a better job. But anyway, guys, appreciate it. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching.